I've been lucky to have heard Daryl's story a couple of times now. It's just as compelling the second time you hear it as it was the first time. And um, to, to be able to see that uh, we, we keep saying that Daryl's lucky to be here. But you know what? We're lucky that Daryl's here. Because Daryl's life is important. As, um, as any other human being is in our society. And so the fact that Daryl was able to overcome his challenges and is here tonight in itself is, is a benefit to all of us. But to Lifeline, Daryl being here, overcoming his challenges is, is going to benefit many people in the community because Daryl tonight becomes an ambassador for Lifeline Australia. And uh, we appreciate Daryl taking on this role for Lifeline Australia. It's not something that, um, that we give out lightly. We, we look at people to, uh, to ensure that not only they're reputable, and we're, we just crossed the line on that one, <laughs> um, but, but we got there, Daryl. Um, but somebody that's an influencer, Somebody that sets a positive example is passionate and inspiring. But in Daryl's case, most importantly, the message that he has is a message of hope. He gives hope to people that irrespective of what challenges you may face, and God willing, none of us ever have to face the types of challenges that Daryl has, has faced in his life. But he gives the message that regardless of what challenge you have to face, you can get through it. That if you reach out for help, whether it's to family, to, to loved ones or to Lifeline, reaching out for help is probably one of the single biggest things that you can do in helping to save your life. So with Daryl's example and Lifeline's ability to listen, I have no doubt that together we will save lives, Daryl. And so um, I'd like you to be upstanding and acknowledge Lifeline's latest ambassador, Daryl. <laughs>